Hey fam, welcome back to the channel where we take awesome out of the box. My name is Jamie and this is going to be a very special video because I'm going to be unboxing a phone that I've been wanting to get my hands on ever since I've heard it. This is the Oppo Reno Ace Gundam 40th Anniversary Edition. I know that some of you have been noticing some of the Gunpla kits I've built in the background of our videos, so you know that this is definitely something I wanted to see firsthand. So let's show you everything that comes inside the box, but let's talk about the actual box first. You guys know that I usually skip the whole unboxing process and I don't talk about the packaging itself, but the details on this thing are incredible. There's the signature Gundam colors, of course, and the embossed head of the RX-782 or the Granddaddy Gundam, as some people might know it. But I really love that there are even some panel lines on the box itself. It really makes a huge difference, especially to someone like me who has a bit of history with the franchise. And yes, I am absolutely geeking out. So I think I've talked about the box enough already, so let's stop talking about the outside and look at what's inside. So here's everything that comes inside the box and again, the attention to detail is absolutely amazing. From the usual sleeve that holds all the usual documents that also comes with a 40th anniversary badge, the subtle details on the Super Vook charger, the yellow accents on the USB-C cable, but my favorite thing in the box aside from the phone of course is the case that it comes with. I honestly can't stop geeking out because that case is supposed to be inspired by the shield of the RX-7A2 and they absolutely nailed it. It's incredible guys. Oppo gets massive points for one of the best special edition phones I've ever seen and we haven't even gotten to the phone itself yet. So let's talk about the device. So here it is guys, the Oppo Reno Ace Gundam 40th Anniversary Edition smartphone and seriously, this is now my favorite special edition phone ever. I know that there's going to be some bias happening here, but you can't deny that that's a good looking smartphone. And again, every little detail really makes this device special. From the little hits of blue and red on the top and bottom of the phone, the subtle panel lines across the frosted white glass panel of the device, the EFSF or Earth Federation Space Force logo near the camera module, the gold embellishment with the head of the granddaddy Gundam, and of course, that signature center line that Oppo has been using on Reno smartphones that you'll see in red with the mobile suit code and model number that it takes inspiration from. I mean, whoever at Oppo was in charge of designing this special edition smartphone did a fantastic job. Now, I only have a smaller scale version of the RX-78 to show you guys, but you can clearly see that they did a good job of translating the Gundam into the design of this device. And even when you cover it up with the case, you still definitely know the inspiration behind it. So now that we've talked about the design of the smartphone, let's talk about its internals because it actually has a great feature set, making it beautiful both on the outside as well as the inside. So first things first, let's talk about that display. You've got a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display at full HD plus resolution with a small notch to house that selfie camera. You know we love our AMOLED displays here on the channel, but it also has a refresh rate of 90 Hertz, making animations and browsing through the phone look even smoother. Now there is an option to go from 90 to 60 Hertz to save a little on battery life in the display settings, but for now, let's keep it on 90. And since we talked about it a little bit already, Let's move on to the cameras. As I mentioned, the selfie camera of the Reno Ace is housed in that tiny notch and it's at 16 megapixels. On the back, you have a quad camera setup that consists of a 48 megapixel main camera at f1.8, an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, a 13 megapixel telephoto camera that allows for five times hybrid zoom capabilities, and a two megapixel depth sensor. Here are a few photos I've been able to take so far. No verdicts yet, but let us know what you think in the comment section down below. The processing package of the Reno Ace also packs quite the punch because at its core you've got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus processor which is currently one of the best SoCs out in the market right now. It's paired with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of UFS 3.0 storage. I can definitely see this device handling the toughest games out there and being able to do some serious work. It also has a 4000 milliamp hour battery to give you all day battery life. Now that's pretty standard, but Oppo stepped up their charging tech with this one because the Reno A supports 65 watt Super VOOC fast charging. Again, let me repeat that, 
65 watt super VOOC charging. This means that you can top up the device from zero to 100 in about 30 minutes. That sounds absolutely insane to me, but being able to top up your phone in the morning while you're getting ready or having breakfast definitely gets two thumbs up. Now for the operating system, you're getting ColorOS 6.1 out of the box based on Android 9, plus that awesome Gundam theme for the icons. Some people didn't like this so much and I can see why, but I kind of dig it. Now for a bit of bad news because we're not actually sure if Oppo is going to offer the Reno Ace here in the Philippines, whether it be the standard or this special edition smartphone, which is a bit of a shame because at its price point, it was launched at in China, which is around 26,000 pesos. It's actually a pretty competitive price point, which makes it great competition for phones like the OnePlus 7T, which has a pretty similar feature set. Now that also means that the device that we have with us for this video doesn't have Google mobile services, so I'm gonna have to sideload it to get the apps that I use on a daily basis. Aside from that though, the Oppo Reno Ace is a fantastic device. Even if you strip it off the Gundam Special Edition goodness, it actually has a pretty solid thing going for it from the cameras to the processor, to the battery and the charging speeds. And I'm hoping that Oppo considers bringing the Reno Ace over officially and that they keep it close to the launch price in China. So that pretty much wraps up the video for the Oppo Reno Ace Gundam 40th Anniversary Edition smartphone. Thank you for spending a couple of minutes with me. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, sub to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. If you have any questions, leave them down below, and I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can. For all the latest tech news and gadget reviews, head to Unbox.ph, plus follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. My name is Jamie. Peace, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm off to play with this phone.